Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make the glitch effect. Okay, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to add my glitch effect to. Now, let's begin by holding down the Alt key on your keyboard while dragging your clip up to make a copy. Then move the playhead to where you want your glitch effect to start and trim your top clip to that position. Move the playhead to where you want your glitch effect to end and trim the top clip to that position. Okay, now let's go down to the color tab. In here, first select your V2 clip since that's what we want to edit. Then use the Alt-Y keyboard shortcut to create new nodes for the red, green, and blue color channels. Now select the top node and go over it to the sizing tab. From the drop down menu, select node sizing. Okay, now you'll need to increase the zoom to create an offset. If you want, you can either use my exact values or set it based on the look you like. Next, I'll select my middle node and increase its zoom. And finally, I'll select the bottom node and increase its zoom. Okay, we're done with the colors, so let's go back to the edit tab. Go up to the effects library and select open effects. Then click the search toggle and type shake into the search box. Drag the camera shake effect onto your top clip. Then search for damage and drag the JPEG damage effect onto your top clip. Okay, now make sure your playhead is positioned over your top clip and go over to the inspector and select the open effects tab. For the camera shake, I'll increase the motion and speed scale to 1.4. Remember, you can change any of these shake values later based on your own preferences. Then increase the pan and tilt amplitude to 0.8 and set the PTR speed to 1.4. Change the zoom type to outward and inward to give it more variation for the glitch. Under shake quality, change the motion method to square wave. This will make it look less like a shake effect and more random and glitchy. And finally, under blinking handling, change the border type to reflect, which will get rid of any black edges. Okay, now when I play this back, I have a nice looking glitch effect. Remember that you can play around with any of these shake settings or adjust the JPEG damage effect to get the look you're going for. For example, I might want to tweak the JPEG damage to make my glitch look more pixelated. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial, so thanks for watching, and see you next time.